Hola. Hola, bienvenidos a Hola Spanish. Soy Romina. Y yo soy Brenda. Somos tus profesoras de español. Cuatro, Cuatro. tips para estudiar español. Tip número uno. Practice makes perfect. It's very important for you to go back and to revise and practice, particularly when it comes to pronunciation and to revise grammar. It's very, very important. Um, when you move forward into the, the units, always try to uh, do a day of revision. Just go back a few units before and try to practice everything, regardless of how basic it is. Yeah, and within that tip, I would say, for example, You can practice in front of the mirror. It's a mm -hmm. good exercise to just talk to yourself in the mirror and you, then you get rid of all that extra pressure of having to say something right at the beginning when you are, for example, with a native speaker. So the tip number two is, uh, for example, it's a good idea to put uh, things in your cards in your house with, for example, vocabulary of things. Mm -hmm. As a reminder, for example, you want to put something that says lámpara on the lamp or puerta on the door, etc. That will help you uh, integrate a little bit of the Spanish vocabulary into your everyday life. Certainly. And another thing that would be very nice for you to do, that would be tip number three, is to befriend people that speak Spanish as a first language. Yeah, okay? yeah. lots of amigos. Sí, definitivamente. <laughs> es muy, muy importante. So try to befriend people from uh, Latin America or Spain and try to practice uh, all the Spanish that you know, regardless of how little it is. Yeah, and particularly because I find, perhaps because we are Latinas, But I feel that the Latin people are very friendly and very welcoming. So don't be afraid to approach if you hear someone speaking Spanish. Go and practice with them and say, hola, como estas? And I guarantee that they will reply back and they will be very willing to practice the Spanish that you know with them. Yes, particularly Latinos, uh, we usually appreciate a lot when someone is trying to make an effort to speak our language. So regardless of... Uh, how difficult the pronunciation is or how unusual the words uh, mm. are being chosen. We really, really appreciate it. So Absolutely. don't be shy. Totalmente. And uh, tip number four is try to embrace a little bit of the Spanish culture. Anything that you do that will help you um, get a little bit of vocabulary or any Latin or Spanish culture activity that you do will definitely get, get you, uh, help you to get to your overall Spanish goal. Uh, for example, you can listen to music in Spanish mm -hmm. or you can read a book. For example, you can start with a kid's book that it's a little bit more simply, mm -hmm. simple in language, etc. And you can read uh, maybe a Spanish kid book or uh, you can also watch movies. For example, mm -hmm. you can watch movies in Spanish. There are so many movies out there and you can watch it, for example, in English with uh, Spanish subtitles that will help or Spanish with English. You know, it's entirely up to you. Mm -hmm. Ok, amigos, those are the four tips to learn Spanish. Gracias. Adiós. Adiós.